What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, you see this beautiful car behind me. This is my boy Pat's NSX. Pat's hiding over there in the corner because he's, he's camera shy. Hey, I'm, I'm taking a video, bro. He's doing behind the scenes for us. Behind the scenes. <laughs> Today we're going to be taking photos of Pat's car. Uh, I have a few ideas. So, Chris, if you could turn this way for me, please. You got it. This is what our background is right now. And you'll notice the sun is extremely powerful. So I want to see if I can do a little bit of flash photography and we might stay here till sunset because I really love how sunsets look. So we're going to experiment with some flash photography, take the NSX out, move it around. And then Pat's going to love us because we're going to take some dope photos. All right, let's do this. All right, Pat, can you go closer to the car? So when doing flash photography, first you have to get an exposure for the background, which I did already. Now I'm going to adjust the power of the flash to see if I can get the car to light up. And I'll probably have to do it in sev uh, several locations around the car, so that way I can stitch them all together later. Uh, but let's see what happens if we put this at full power and Pat's standing roughly 8 feet away. Okay, that did almost nothing. Oh, well, the sun might be beating my ass today. Yep, the sun's beating my ass. Okay, plan B. We're gonna go over there and take photos. We'll be back for sunset. All right, so the flash photography thing was kind of a fail because it's really, really bright out here. But uh, I found another spot. It's a little bit down the road and it's pretty shaded. So I'm gonna try and go there. We're not gonna use any flash or anything. Uh, I just think that it's going to be a nice spot, so let's head over there. First shot I had in mind, which I got when we were driving here, is shot of him on the side of the road, shot of him in the middle of the road, and then I just got the idea as I was coming here is maybe I'll have him park up over there somewhere and get like a high angle shot from the bottom. So let's start with these though. Alright, I'm gonna try and get him to park right in the middle now. Yo, can you park in the middle? Yeah, but a little further down, like over here. So, the first photo I took, the sun was coming from that side, so I was able to see a lot of sun. But now with him positioned the other way, the side of the car that we actually do see is fully evenly lit because it's all shaded. So. That's why I had him flip his car around. So I'm done shooting in this location. Uh, we're gonna walk back to the top of this hill now and wait for the sun to get a little bit lower, capture a couple more shots, and then I have to pee. 
I also forgot to mention that I am shooting on the Sony a7 IV with the 70-200 f2.8 as well as the 24-70 f2.8. It's actually a really dope shot. I'm going to take a photo. Hold on. This car looks really fucking dope. Can't see? Okay, well, I'll put the photo in the image. It's my CRV. <laughs> Alright, so the sun's not where I want it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the gas station, warm up, I have to pee, get some food, come back here, 30 minutes tops. Hopefully. Okay, so we are driving back to the spot and the sun is like this close to setting, so I'm I'm trying to rush right now, but we had to stop because I had no gas. But Hopefully we get there. Three minutes. Fingers crossed. All right, so the whole idea of using the flash is completely out of the question. The car looks beautiful how it is right now. So I'm just gonna capture some photos of it, how it is. And then we're gonna go back home and look at the photos that I captured. Baby, I saw you for a second and I'm happy that you came my way Don't wanna waste no time without you ever burning up my days Never meant to fall so hard I'm so happy I bought a 70 to 200, bro. I told you. There you go. Hey guys, what's up? One Fast NJ here. I'm out here with Nick. Guess what? We are taking pictures of my NSX. Okay, so I got to stare into the camera. That's what Nick told me. And um, you got to keep it steady. So I'm a, I'm a first time blogger, as you guys can tell. And um, Nick is doing a great job. He's really amazing at this and look check him out check him out check him out it's a perfect day out here it is kind of chilly i can't feel my pinky <laughs> nick can't feel his pinky it's fucking freezing out here. it's cold out here but these shots are fire the shots are fire and that's what we're at here <laughs> they're fire you know what that's what it's all about capturing the moment hanging out with people that's passionate about what they do and that don't have pinkies and don't have pinkies we're about to cut them off. These photos are looking so good right now. Like, look at that. Look at how nice of a composition that is. So, I'm gonna take a couple more photos. Uh, I just switched lenses from the 70 to 200 to the 24 to 70. Do a couple more photos, and then I'm gonna go home because it's freezing. So, more photos. Go home, edit, and we'll talk about the photos when I get back home. Just one more. One more. One more. It also looks like it's probably very cold up there. Yeah, you'd be correct. Good thing you got those unique low... Uh... Shameless plug, <laughs> link in bio. If you know, you know. I can't feel my... <laughs> All right, so I'm back home now and really quickly, I wanna go over the photos that I took. So originally the photo shoot was supposed to be a flash photography photo shoot. That was the idea I had when I came out and I also wanted to take photos using the flash at sunset. You saw at the start of the video, the flash really wasn't working too well. It wasn't working in my favor. I couldn't get the lighting down properly. I think it's because my flash isn't powerful enough and it was way too bright outside. And I'm sure if I played around with it enough, I might've been able to get it to light the car properly but I was more concerned about actually getting content than I was about getting the flash to work. So we scrapped that idea. We went down the road to that second location that you saw us shooting at, which was kind of in between the trees. I'm actually really happy with how all of those photos came out. The only photos I didn't really like that came from that shoot was there was one photo where I tried positioning his car on an angle on the yellow line, and I was able to see the shadows coming through from where the sun was. Now, to kind of combat that, I was able to flip his car 
the other way and angle it facing the other way. And on that side, it was all shaded. So the lighting was actually pretty even and the photos came out pretty good. After that, the photos from when we got back from lunch of the sunset came out absolutely amazing. I'm actually really happy with how the photos came out. The first time I went to the spot was actually for a cruise and it was for a fundraiser and we did a whole video on it. Uh, the link to that video will be in my bio if you wanna check it out. I had a vision for where the sun was going to be and I'm actually very lucky that it wasn't cloudy because if it was, then it probably would have ruined the look I was going for but it was absolutely perfect aside from the fact that it was freezing outside. I think it was maybe like 15 degrees or something like that. Aside from the fact that it was freezing, I'm very happy with how the sun looked, very happy with how the car looked, and I'm very happy with every single photo that I got. I wanna give a huge thank you to Christine for taking behind the scenes video as well as capturing a couple behind the scenes photos for me. She also took a bunch of really dope photos, so if you wanna check those out as well, the link will be in my description below. Huge thank you to Pat for bringing out your car. Today's shoot would not have been possible if you didn't pull through. Because today I wasn't able to get the flash photography how I wanted to, I think I'm gonna try and come up with a couple different ideas to actually implement that into my photos. Now, you don't need flash to take really awesome photos. It was just something I wanted to play around with. There are tons of photos that I've taken. If these photo examples that I posted throughout the video haven't been example enough, there are a bunch of photos that I've taken where you don't need any kind of lighting at all. Just a little bit of editing and tweaking maybe, but it's something that I wanted to experiment with to see if it was possible, to see if I was able to do it. And this particular time, it was a failure but I am looking to try it again. If you guys wanna see that video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell notification so that way you can be notified when that video does come out. If you like this video, make sure to like it. I would greatly appreciate it if you left a comment in the comments below as well as shared it with your friends. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Christine has this fancy lens mount holder where she can just walk around with all her lenses and swap them out, which, which is cool. Don't get me wrong, but I, I have a pocket, so. You have a super fancy pocket. I have, I have, a, I have a deep pocket. Not deep pockets, a deep pocket. There's a difference.